Creating a 3D animation movie takes a lot of time and hard work, but now you can easily create a whole 3D animation movie in just a few hours with the help of AI. I spent just a couple of hours creating this 3D animation movie. In the heart of the metaverse, a bustling hub where streams of data flow like rivers, we meet Sam, a cute and curious boy with virtual goggles, exploring the vast digital cosmos. This place is amazing, but I wonder what's beyond? Sam discovers a mysterious black hole, a portal to the galaxy of AI. It's like a cosmic playground. Welcome to the galaxy of AI technology. Welcome to the digital world of artificial intelligence. My name is Rahat. In this artificial intelligence revolution, you don't need to spend thousands of dollars to make a cartoon movie. In the vastness of the galaxy of AI and technology, the journey continues fueled by the innocent curiosity and boundless imagination of cute explorers like Sam. Want to make such 3D animation movies and earn money from YouTube? You must watch the full video. Because in this video, I'll show you everything step by step and how I created this 3D movie using only AI tools. Additionally, at the end of this video, I'll share some secret tools and prompts to generate high quality videos and maintain the same character and face for all scenes. So make sure to watch the full video. I'll show you everything on my computer, but you can do the same work on your mobile phone. So let's get started. We're gonna create a 3D animation movie in just three parts. The first part is to create the scenes for our movie. To do that, we're gonna do three steps. The first step is to select a story. If you already have a story for your movie, you can skip this step. But if you don't have one, you can use ChatGPT to generate a unique story. So just click the link below this video and it will take you to chat.openai.com. Now click on sign up, then click on continue with Google to create an account. Here in this box, we need to describe what we want I just asked ChatGPT. Alright, a short 3D animation film story script about the metaverse and galaxy of AI and technology. And ChatGPT has generated this story script for me. In the same way, you can also generate a unique story for your movie. Once you have this story, it's time to transform it into an animated movie. However, we don't have the AI tool to generate high quality videos directly. Instead, we can get images using AI and then convert them into videos. Let's go to the second step, which is to get images for our movie. To do that, we're gonna use a tool called Midjourney, but it's a paid tool. However, if you prefer a free tool, you can try some other tools like Playground AI, Ideogram AI, or Leonardo AI, which lets you generate the same images for free. You can watch this video to learn about more free AI image generators. To access Midjourney, just click the link below this video, and it will take you to midjourney.com. Now quickly sign in, and it will take you to the dashboard. To generate the images, we need to enter the prompt here. So let's type slash imagine and click here. On mid-journey, we need to give the exact prompt and only then can get the right output. To create the exact prompt, I'll use a Chrome extension in ChatGPT called AIPRM. I'll put the link in the video description. Just click on the link and it will take you to this page. Let's add this extension. You may need to sign in with your ChatGPT account and after that, come over to ChatGPT and open a new chat. As you can see, the AI PRM extension has been added to your ChatGPT. Now we need to select a Midjourney prompt generator. To do this, go here and search for Midjourney. As you can see, we have got so many Midjourney prompt generators. You can use any of these tools. I always use this tool called Midjourney 5.2. So just click on it and it will be added to your ChatGPT message box. Now what we need to do is to copy a line of our script and paste it here in this box. and then hit enter. As you can see, this AI tool has generated five different prompts according to our story. So let's copy one prompt from here. And paste it here in this box and then hit enter. As you can see, it has generated our first image. In the same way, you can paste the remaining prompts and get all images. Let's generate the second image for our next scene. You can see that we have got a character's face in this image. Similarly, we'll generate other images. You can see that it has generated another image, but this time, if you notice the face of this character is slightly different compared to the first one. To get this character's face, all you have to do is click on the image of the character. Then right click on it and then click on copy image address. 
Then go to this image, click on Vary Region, and at the beginning of the prompt, paste the image address that we copied. Now, to change the face, click on this option. Then using your mouse, select the face portion like this. Once you're done, click on this arrow. And you can see that we've got a character's face in this image. Since we'll convert this image into a video, I suggest you to upscale this image, so you will get a high quality video when you convert it. To do this, just click on upscale. And in a few seconds, it'll give you an upscaled image. As you can see, this is a very high quality image. To save the image, just right click on it and save it to your computer. Similarly, you can save all the other generated images. Okay. We have now successfully used Midjourney to generate images for our movie. Now we need to convert these images into videos. So let's go to the third step, which is to convert the image into a video. To do that, we're going to use a tool called Runway ML. So just click the link below this video and it will take you to this website. To get started, first we need to create an account on Runway. So let's click here. Then log in with your Google account and you'll get this page. Now to convert the image into a video, just click here. Choose this option. And then here you can upload the animated images that you generated from Midjourney. So let's click here and choose the image. Then use the same prompt you used to generate the image in Midjourney and click generate. Now if we click play, you can see that our image has been converted into an animated video. If you want to make this video longer, just click on extend 4 seconds. Then click here. Now if I open this video, you can see that we've generated 8 seconds of video. To download this video, just click here and it will be downloaded. In the same way, we'll convert all the other images into videos. So just delete the old image and upload the second one. So we have completed the first part. When you look at your AI generated videos, you can see that it has a few glitches. Also, the resolution of the videos is not good. So to improve the quality of these videos, we're going to use a free AI tool called CapCut Video Enhancer. If you have a budget, I recommend using HitPow Video Enhancer. I already made a complete video. You can watch it after watching this video. To access CapCut Video Enhancer, just click the link below this video and it will take you to CapCut.com. Now quickly sign in and it will take you to this page. Now click on the magic tool and select Video Upscaler. Now upload the video that you want to upscale and then click on upscale and it will start generating. Let's open the video. As you can see, the quality of the image is mind blowing. It's like a real movie scene. So in the same way, you need to upscale all the videos. With that, our second part is also completed. So let's go to the final part of this video, which is to combine and edit all the scenes and complete our 3D animation movie. To edit it, we're going to do four steps. The first step is to add dialogue and lip sync for our animated characters. To do that, we're going to use a tool called Lalamu. Lalamu is a great tool where you can add dialogues and lip sync the characters' lips to the dialogue. Also, it's free to use. So get started. Just click the link below this video and click on start. Then click on Upload Video. Select your video and click Open. And your video will be uploaded. Now just click Add New Audio. And here we need to add the dialogue for this scene. So to get the dialogues, just go to ChatGPT. And you can see that along with the story, it has generated dialogues as well. So let's copy this dialogue for this particular scene. Then come back to Lalamu, paste it here. Now select the voice model you want. And if you click here, you'll get different options to select an emotion. I'm going to choose this one. And click Generate Audio. Now here, you can see we have different pre-made audios to choose from. I'm going to choose this one. And if we click on Generate Lip Sync Video. Welcome to the galaxy of AI technology. 
you can see that the lip sync is done and it looks pretty good. Once you're happy with the output, just right click on the video, then click here and your video will be downloaded. In the same way, you can add dialogues and get the lip sync for all the other characters too. But sometimes you may not get a better lip sync video in Lalamu, like this video. This place is amazing. But I wonder what's beyond. As you can see, the quality of this video is not good. So we can use another tool called Heijin. Let's create a free account on Heijin. And you'll get this page. Now go to create video and select landscape. Then go to photo avatar. And click here to upload the image that you have generated from mid journey. Now drag this image to the timeline. And here we need to type the dialogue for this character. Let's test the voiceover. This place is amazing, but I wonder what's beyond. You can change the voiceover by clicking here. After that, go to Submit. Again, click on Submit. You can see that our video is ready. If I play the video, This place is amazing, but I wonder what's beyond. You can see that the lip sync quality is pretty better than Lalamo. If you add some animation during editing, it will look more professional. I'll show you everything, so don't skip any part. Now you can download the video by clicking here. Once you're done, we can go to the second step, which is to combine and edit all the scenes together. To do that, we're going to use a free online tool called CapCut Video Editor. So just click the link below this video, then click here and sign in with your Google account. Now to combine all these scenes, let's go to create new and select 16 is to 9 ratio. Now select all your video clips, drag it and drop them here. Then add all the scenes to the track one by one. You can also play and see the preview of the video. During the preview, you would have noticed that we needed to add voiceovers for particular scenes. So let's go to the third step, which is to add voiceovers to the scenes. To do that, we're going to use a free tool called Eleven Labs. It converts the text into audio. So just click the link below this video and click Get Started for free. Then sign up with your Google account and it will take you to this page. Now, if you click here, you'll get different pre-made voices to choose from. So just listen to all the voices and select the one you like. For instance, I'm going to choose this one. Now here, we need to add the dialogues. So let's go to ChatGPT. Copy the dialogue, come back here and paste it. Once you're done, click Generate. And now, if you play the audio... In the heart of the metaverse, a bustling hub where streams of data flow like rivers. You can hear that. It sounds realistic and feels as if a real person recorded it. Once you have generated them, next, let's add the voiceovers to our movie. So just go back to CapCut Video Editor. Then drag and drop the audio files. Now drag and drop the first audio file here. Then place it where you prefer. Then let's do the same for the other audio files. Once you are done, if we play the movie. In the heart of the metaverse, a bustling hub where streams of data flow like. You can see that it has perfectly synced with our scenes. Similarly, we can add voiceovers to all the remaining dialogues. Okay, now our 3D animated movie is almost ready but still missing something. So let's go to the fourth step, which is to add background music. I use paid music from Epidemic Sounds. I'll put the link in the video description. If you're looking for free music, I'll suggest two websites, Mixkit and YouTube Audio Library. To access YouTube Audio Library, go to your YouTube studio and find this program called the Audio Library. Here you will find thousands of free music. You can filter by genre. I'm going to search for cinematic music. If you scroll down, you'll see we have found almost 1000 free cinematic music for free. Now we can test and download any of these for free. And once you have got the music, let's go back to CapCut. Then drag and drop the music here. After that, drag the music from here and drop it on this track. Now if you want, you can delete the rest of the part. And if you want to reduce the volume, you can click here and reduce it. In the same way, we can add more background music to our movie. Once you have done that, we can go ahead and download it. So just go to export, click download, and then select the video quality you want. I'm gonna choose 4K. Then our movie will be exported. Let's watch the final result. In the heart of the metaverse, a bustling hub where streams of data flow like rivers, we meet Sam, a cute and curious boy with virtual goggles. 
exploring the vast digital cosmos. This place is amazing, but I wonder what's beyond? Sam discovers a mysterious black hole, a portal to the galaxy of AI. It's like a cosmic playground. Welcome to the galaxy of AI technology. Welcome to the digital world of artificial intelligence. My name is Rahat. In this artificial intelligence revolution, you don't need to spend thousands of dollars to make a cartoon movie. In the vastness of the galaxy of AI and technology, the journey continues, fueled by the innocent curiosity and boundless imagination of cute explorers like Sam. Okay, so that's it guys. If you have any questions, you can let me know by commenting below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.